Hey guys, this is Ponce doing another Path of Exile video. Uh, since I've been playing so much of this game sort of in my spare time when not doing my League of Legends stream, I figured I'd do another uh, one, this one about um, where to farm and level in Path of Exile. Now, if you're playing normal or softcore, rather, um, it's probably not necessary. I don't really know because I don't play that. Um, this is mainly just sort of a hardcore thing where if you kind of ever feel like you're falling behind in levels or there's an encounter coming up that's has a good chance of killing your character and you need a few more levels uh, I'm just gonna go uh, outline where to go and sort of how to do them and stuff like that I find myself uh, using these areas a lot right before big boss encounters because you know if your character's dead everything all your work has gone to waste so um, yeah may as well level the character first point um, you're ever going to come across is um, this probably won't be necessary in normal although you never know um, you might want to use it a few times usually it's only going to come into effect starting around cruel um, but is the it's going to be an act one the ledge this place has tons of mobs in it um, so actually I'm going to do it on normal mode rather just because it takes a little bit of time if I do it on this so let's run it on normal mode and I'll show you how basically all the mobs cluster up like this and so yeah the first time you get there you're just going to warp to it and let's press R this and so as you can see basically there's a lot of really slow skeletons like this who just kind of are easy to cluster up I always have a um, granite another granite flask a yeah, quicksilver flask on me so if there's not enough mobs to warrant you stopping I just kind of keep running I'll use um, a swiftness flask and that'll sort of recharge everything and when I get to a big pack of, mo a pack of mobs it'll uh, recharge the flask so I'll just kill everything like that obviously if you're doing it on a proper hard mode. It's, I mean, it's not going to be that easy. But just run through everything. Rule of thumb is, this is probably, if it's a pack of four, it's not very efficient, but that's kind of the number I use. If I see four, more than f or four or more mobs on the screen, I usually stop and load up a few volleys to kill them. Um, so that was kind of a crappy run. So, But what you do from here, basically, is you go to the next zone, the rocky climb. And if you don't know how to create a new instance, what you do is you control click on the loading zone and then hit new and that'll completely refresh the, uh, the zone so it'll look like this and I'm at a pot so I can't run so let's kill you kill you kill these guys this is just um, a crappy archer character by the way well it's not that crappy but it's it's fairly generic I know it'd probably be a lot better if I went lightning arrow but I want to do something a bit different so I'm using frost shot let's pick that up the hell of it use these pots so I just run along again I mobbed them all up and yeah that's the great thing about this zone is it's just one big long line so you don't have to kinda like get creative with where you're going you just run in a straight line and you kill tons of mobs all at once it's really good EXP so long as you're at least um, vaguely within level range I'm not sure what the exact number is but when you start getting too high um, you don't really get too much EXP anymore. Um, I know starting around Cruel, if you're more than like seven levels above the zone, you can tell by either pressing Tab or going to the map. See, this is a level seven area, and I'm you know forty something. So obviously I'm not going to get any EXP. I'm just going to bypass that. Kill everything. Get another uh, flask. Now, for efficiency's sake, the um, the what's gonna call it flask, the uh, the quicksilver flask is quite important, obviously, because it you know lets me run through the zone much faster, get to these big packs of mobs. Obviously, a character who can AOE is going to be much better at this kind of thing. Um, generally, you're going to be doing playing an AOE character anyway in hardcore, so. Makes things a lot easier. And this is actually a long zone. This would have been good EXP if um, I'd been actually doing it. So here's the other end, the uh, the upper submerged passage. So you go there, and then just make you repeat the process over and over again. Um, you can either pick up loot or not. I pick up loot because um, I'm really money grubby. Um, some people don't just do it for pure EXP. It's going to be a lot faster, obviously. So that's that area. The next thing that's going to come up is um, is going to be an Act Two. You're going to want to farm either 
uh, the Fell Shrine Runes or Western Forest. And I'll show you why. So here we go to the Church Dungeon. You're going to want to work with the Church Dungeon because the uh, the entrance to Fell Shrine is right there. So you just hit, uh, well you don't even need to hit New Instance because I haven't been there yet. So I'll just go in. And so this place is another really good place for EXP because most of the mobs are clustered around the main path that leads to the um, the next zone or the previous zone. And uh, yeah, you just kind of go like this, and everything's really slow. I tend to skip those uh, sham or the um, the rock guys, the golems, because they're just sort of annoying to kill and they don't come in large packs. I'll just use my uh, quicksilver flask, run along. Every time I see a, a group of zombies spawn in anywhere yeah, in the ground like that. I'll kill them. Uh, big packs of skeletons like that. Notice the uh, pattern here. It's usually undead that seems to be really good for farming. Because they clump a lot and they're slow. See a group there. Like that. Gonna move along. Let's go up here. Kill you. Another pack of these guys. Um, I'd use my higher level guys to show you some other stuff later. But actually, unfortunately, both my high-level characters that were in uh, Merciless Node, that's the most difficult version, uh, died recently. So those are not available. Instantly, they're both melee characters, so they're just kind of... Like, I knew it was you know, probably going to end up that way with them dead to something stupid. But, yeah. Ranged is sort of a lot safer in this game. So I'm just... Yeah, see, I'm following the main path here. I'm just going up like this. Um, sometimes it'll fork, but once you, you get used to which way you're supposed to go, every once in a while, if you do it enough. So I'm, uh, you know, go to crossroads like this, and then repeat the same process. Where if you want to reset the instance, once this loads, you hit uh, the control, and then make a new instance, and then you go back and forth on Fell Shrine over and over again. Uh, now the other place you can do in um, Act Two is I think it was called Western Forest. I believe the name was. Yeah, the Western Force. So you just basically go over here. The difference between this place is, is this one is slightly higher level in normal and cruel. But once you get the Merciless, it's actually, this one is the lower level and Fell Shrine is the higher one. Um, in general, though, this one is sort of the more difficult one because, well, it depends on your build, really, I guess. It can be, you, know, you just got to find the path. I'm going the wrong way. Um, this place is annoying because the guys are tougher in normal and cruel. And there's like guys who uh, have poison shot, and just in general, if you're not paying attention, these guys that explode the suicide bombers can kind of kill you. Yeah, see, I'll show you what happens. Like basically, these guys blow up and deal lots of damage. Normally, they do a lot more damage. Like I said, I'm playing this in normal right now, so I can do this quicker. Um, if I can ever find the damn road, oh, there we go. There's the road. Um, here's another good thing about this area. There's this big group of guys always at the uh, the very end of the instance here. So this is the um, the other end of it. It goes to um, this will go over to Act One. So this is the other area you can reset it from. So you go over here and reset from Prisoner's Gate and come back in. Same deal. Um, so I'll just show the clear path of this one. Again, this is another easy one because there's mobs spread out all over the map, but the biggest clusters of them and the easiest route to follow is just along this path here. So you go up through this area here and just go along. Every time you see something you can kill, kill them. Like so. Must have died in one hit. As you can see, there's probably more mobs here. It just takes a bit longer. Um, and you have to concentrate a bit more, because like I said, there's stuff that can actually kill you here if you're closer to the level you're supposed to be. Um, so if you don't want to think and just turn your brain off, Fell Shrine is the better way to go usually. This place is a bit risky. Um, this is also another good place to level in in uh, one hour races, and I think two hour races as well. You can just rush to here and then go back and forth over. And so here's Dark Forest, and they, they go back and reset it, and that's the EXP right there. So we're just going to go back, and I'll show you the final one. Um, again, it's going to be normal, because actually I don't have Mercil... I don't even have uh, Cruel Act 3 on this character. Because all my my guy... And that's the other thing. This character isn't too good because her gear sort of sucked. Because all my really good gear was on the two characters that are dead. So I lost a, a good chunk of my uh, stuff on those guys. But, uh, yeah, the here's another good leveling place. City of Sarn. 
I'll show you this one. Now this place is actually a little bit dangerous. It's probably the most dangerous place so far compared to the previous leveling areas if you're anywhere near or even a little bit above the uh, level. Uh, the, uh, what's it called? The recommended level, I guess, for this thing. So you, you just, it's pretty standard here. You go along killing these guys. It's a lot of junk. As you can see, I'm hitting a lot of mobs already. So. I'm gonna normally I go. Um, well, I don't know. You can either choose to go take the top half of the zone or the bottom half of the zone first. Um, it's probably more efficient to do the top half first. Uh, I'll talk about that why in a bit, but it's really your choice. Okay, the boss. I don't really care. I'm not doing this for actual EXP. So this guy here, he's kind of dangerous. I'll show you why when I clear these other mobs. Um, see, he drops a trap. Like, uh, I'll wait till he drops another one. He's going to throw... That, the Serial Knives deals a lot of damage. And that trap, see, I can't move now. So that can actually um, kill you if you're not careful. Um, this guy here, his name starts with a P. I didn't look at it properly. Persephone something. Um, yeah, so all you have to watch out for in this farming zone is just that guy. The rest of this is really, really easy. It doesn't matter what level you are, pretty much. Um, these bugs especially, there's a lot of them, and they refill your flasks really well. Um, like this. Actually, no, it's more efficient to go to the bottom half of the zone first. Um, because what happens is, see, I get over here. And see the zone to the next place, the, the town is actually the next place, is down there. So I need to actually, now because I did it wrong, I need to backtrack and just kind of do all this. Although you do, if you want to burn a, a portal scroll every time you're finished the zone, it doesn't really matter. If you're cheap like me, I, li I don't like using the portal scroll over and over again. I mean, alternative, I suppose I could go down this way, but then I would miss um, a bunch of stuff over here. This should be like two more packs, maybe. Okay, no, actually, that's everything. So, yeah, either you could zone back from there, or if you feel like being really cheap, you could run back to that thing there. Um, but, yeah, portal scroll, alternatively, I'll show you another thing. If you'd like really cheap, don't want to use a portal scroll, just exit the login screen, like this. And then we go into the character like that, and I'm back in town. So, <laughs> that's a way of collecting portal scrolls if you're short on them or something. I, I don't see why you would be. But, um, yeah, here's another leveling zone. After you're, like, completely com... Um, piety can be kind of scary on cruel. So, you might really, really want to level. Um, in particular, the barracks is a really dangerous area. If you're not paying attention, you can get killed there. So, if you're... And you're getting no EXP from City of Sarn anymore. Uh, you can also go to the docks. This place is also kind of scary depending on your build, especially if you're melee and you don't have good fire resistance or something. There's dogs that breathe fire at you. They're kind of nasty. But, uh, again, like, there's big clumps of undead here like that. So you can just kind of, you know, shoot this stuff off at them. See, like, look at all these guys like this. Now, the, the, thing, with, the thing about this place, though, is that it's, like, kind of wide open and sort of, um spread out so you have to figure out you know sort of what the most efficient way of doing each randomized map is every time for example I know there's nothing down there so we're just gonna go this way um, okay so there's no top half to this map which means everything is going to be down this way which is actually quite lucky and it's gonna be a really efficient map uh, I can just go this way like this See, like, even though I'm way over level, those dogs actually kind of hurt still. Plus, these guys are sort of hitting me. And I'm using um, uh, blood whatever gem. And I don't have my all my auras running, so normally I'd have a bit more health and stuff. But, or health regen, rather. Because as you can see, I just go along. You don't have to, like, get everything. You know, you know if you don't think there's going to be a big group of mobs in a certain wing of a map or something, just skip it and keep going. Um, it doesn't really matter because, basically, think of it this way. The more times you do an instance and get all the big packs, the more you're going to ultimately killing over time, even if you miss certain groups. So, the name of the game is just efficiency. And uh, how, much mo how many mobs you're killing, you know, on average, 
over a given period of time. You know, not wiping everything out. That was a bit of a hard thing for me to adjust to because I'm just sort of like kind of a completionist about these sorts of things and I hate leaving mobs behind even if it's inefficient to do so. So yeah, here's the uh, the area here. I missed probably a couple things here. Like up here in the top right hand corner is probably another, there's going to be another way of going this way and there's probably a, another wing that goes that way. So there'd be huge groups of mobs there but I didn't really do that this time. Um, but yeah, you reset the instance at the battlefront and uh, for some reason Battlefront always takes a long time to load which is sort of annoying so you might want to burn a portal scroll or just place each time but oops I didn't reset it but yeah normally you reset there and so that's that area there um, now that's all the main leveling areas like these are the general purpose leveling areas there's certain other places you can sometimes use to sort of suit your own needs for example I'm gonna look at the map here and um, another place to level for example might be in uh, Temple of uh, Lunaris Temple. That's the last area. If you feel really confident and like you, the stuff is not hurting you, you can always farm in Temple of Lunaris level 2 and level 3. Um, th the reason you would do that over uh, the docks, which is safer and probably better EXP, just because it's faster is because like you feel you're behind in gear and that's the furthest you could go so since there's so many mobs you have a decent chance of getting you know something usable for you if you don't like trading with other people I've done that before because yeah I, I'm cheap and don't like buying things so I kept doing Temple of the Norris until I finally upgraded my weapon for my character um, and felt then I could do Piety who's the Act 3 boss um, and it wasn't bad EXP you know while that was going on either um, but yeah, that's mainly it. You, you might find there's some other places that suit your playstyle to build well, but those are sort of the main areas um, that I've covered for Act 1, 2, and 3. Like, if you know these areas, you should be good. Um, they'll suit your leveling purposes just fine. Um, and as you play, you'll have a good idea of, you know, whether or not you need to level or not. If you find yourself kind of almost dying too often that's basically a sign your character needs more levels so I mean it's kind of risky to do that in that sort of way and almost die and then realize you need to do it but basically you always want to be um, at least a couple levels over whatever the monster level is um, I'm a bit extreme with that so I mean I don't finish cruel for example cruel act 3 I won't finish that and go into merciless until I'm in my upper 50s you could you know do it in your lower 50s conceivably but that's also gear dependent and, and build dependent as well. Um, that's really all I have to say on this matter. This video is getting really long, so I'm going to cut it off here. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it informative. Um, like I said, I do Path of Exile videos every once in a while. Um, probably going to do some League of Legends gameplay videos real soon. Um, that or new public test drum stuff when the Zack character comes out. So, again, thanks for watching and see you all around.